I'm Jeff Teague and I'm standing behind the most luxurious CX-90. That's right, this is the 2024 all new luxury three row SUV. This is the highest of eight different trim levels, the Turbo S Premium Plus. Today we're doing ASMR car unboxing, unwrapping. We're taking the plastic, like one of Dexter's next victims, and we're pulling it off these 21 inch alloy wheels. I'm a rookie at this. We'll get it there. Now that's sharp. I'm filming today thanks to Sport Durst Mazda in Durham, North Carolina. If you want to see all their inventory, and they have a lot of cars here, especially CX-90s, you can go to sportdurstmazda.com. I'll put a link to their website in the comment section so you can check it out yourself. Thanks, guys. You know what else is sharp? The entire profile, the styling on this beautiful CX-90. Like I said, it's the highest of eight different trim levels. You'll see here over on the side, we've got ranges all the way from 39,000 up to 59,000. And let's give it the old interior first look. We gotta know what we're dealing with. I'll go section by section. We'll even show the window sticker at the end, show you what it costs, what's standard on it. We'll go section by section to show that this is the premium of all the CX-90 trims and it's a worthy competitor in that three row SUV market. Can this one compete with the styling, the economy, fuel mileage, and just comfort? Grand Highlander, Acura MDX, Telluride, Palisade. What are you thinking when you see the first look? Well, I see plastic, that's my unwrapping. I was doing my own YouTube unboxing. And then here's our third row. We'll show you everything, even how I fit, you know, like those YouTube cat videos. If it fits, I sit. If your CX-90 trim level has an S, that means it's the high output. This is 3.3 liter inline turbocharged six cylinder engine. It has standard output and high output. Three trim levels have the high output. That's gonna be with premium gasoline, which is what Mazda recommends, 340 horsepower, 369 pound-feet of torque. And if you put regular gasoline in there, you can do that but you're gonna lose a little bit of horsepower, 319. Now, if you wanna go with the standard engines, which is something you'll find on the lower trim levels, well, you're gonna get 280 horsepower and 322 pound-feet of torque with that same engine, same eight-speed automatic transmission. I'm walking backwards. That must mean more performance fast facts. Fuel mileage, well, we've got 25 combined, 23 in the city, 28 on the highway. We've got multi-link rear suspension, ho, oh, with stabilizer bar, and then double wishbone, front suspension, independent four-wheel suspension. We also have disc brakes, vented, and disc front and back. Now, the rear wheel centered iActive all-wheel drive is really special because it is capable of directing the power to the wheels that need it most. That way you're gonna be capable, you're gonna be successful on all different types of terrain. Got different drive modes that you can use. You can use normal, you can use Sport, I almost forgot. And then you can use off-road. <laughs> oh! Since the S Premium Plus is the Mac Daddy of the lineup, you're gonna expect that it's gonna have more features than on something like the Preferred that I reviewed earlier in my channel. We've got parking sensors in the front, in the rear. For example, this has a chrome trim piece. I didn't see that on the Preferred. That looks really nice here. Now this right here is because of delivery. We've got that piece, don't worry about it, it's there. And then you've got a functional vent right here to channel air. Look at the lights right there, holla. I wish it had fog lights. That would really complete the mission, complete the luxury. But here we go. We've got the panoramic camera, nice three-dimensional gloss black grill, holla. And then we've got parking sensors in the front and the rear. Plenty of safety features as well. How about these two-tone 19-inch wheels? This is the back one. We took the plastic off the front one. Look, more chrome trim around the windows. On the preferred, that was a black accent piece. Got turn signal indicators here. Look at that. Oh, very nice. And then we've got blind spot right here. On the preferred, this was just black. Now it's chrome, chrome accent piece, and it was matte black down below. So watch how that's changed here. We also have color keyed fenders. That was a matte black on the preferred. So we've got some styling cues, styling differences here. And in case you forgot the manufacturer, M-A-Z-D-A. Do we still say zoom, zoom, zoom? Now this one does have auto lock and unlock, which means auto open on the front doors, not in the back. Here we go. That piece is popped out, delivery in shipping. It'll get back on there, trust me. We're not gonna let that interfere with our review, holla. We've got right here, chrome accent pieces. 
CX-90, and then look at this piece right here. Comes all the way around here. That's very sporty, as you'd expect from Mazda. But remember, it's more upscale too. We've got the backup camera, and then we do have the power back hatch that's hands-free. I've got the flashers on. Oh no, it's a flasher, but we've got the turn signals. That'll be turn signal if you're going left or right, but if you got the flashers on. And look, more upscale image, it kind of fades out. And you're gonna see that on the turn signal on the side, right here. Hold it there for a second, just like that. Looks pretty cool. I think it would look really good at nighttime, actually. And then we've got these little small turn signals back here, but boy, they're high intensity. That is bright. Let's start our interior tour with the passenger side because I already see one feature I really like that was not on the preferred, as I might expect. I like that my seat can go up, it can go down. I can twist it forward, I can twist it backward, and I can recline. Look at this woven fabric right here. I'll show you the detail on this thing because it actually gives it the impression that it's got more substance, more height to it, more volume. Whoa, we're going down. This is the woven fabric I was telling you about. Look at the stitching here, that special stitching, and it gives the car more volume, and it really does give it, with this textured patterned look here, much more upscale look than the preferred. Preferred? It's preferred. Hey, squeeze, squeeze. Nice and soft. Then right here, look at the accent piece that goes all the way down. You'll see that in the back seat as well. Very comfortable here. This is heated and cooled seats, and I like how this has a textured pattern look. I don't know how to describe it. It almost looks like you did some artistic painting or something like that. We've got aluminum trim here, artisan wood. Oh, that is nice, hello. That is really nice. And this, I was hoping to see this, the upgraded Bose sound system. Very cool, got extra speakers than the stock system. Bose, of course, is known for, oh, that is such a soft texture right there. I like that, soft touch here. Again, very upscale. Mazda's doing a good job with the look inside here. How about that glove box? I see more aluminum trim. It's everywhere, folks. Look at this. Oh, that's so nice. Beautiful. Large, large screen here. And then we have, like I said, heated and cooled seats. So there's the cooled. There's the heated. Heated steering wheel as well. Nice. I like that. And then down here, I'm guessing we'll see, yep, wireless charging and 12 volt circular. Beautiful. The MI drive, a lot of these buttons are just so upscale looking because it is the largest of all the trim levels. They're kind of small cup holders really, but I guess it would work. Then this is soft touch too, so maybe where your leg would touch, it's got wrapping on it right now, ASMR. Ooh. When you're in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you can use touchscreen. But when you're not, you're gonna use the command center right here. We got lumbar support here, I like that. And of course, like I said, I can go up, I can go down, I can honk the horn. And then we've got stitched leather wrap steering wheel here with the light stitching, this premium white leather. It's beautiful. The driver's panel. Boy, I just really like this trim piece right here. So upscale, it looks sharp. It's bright, it's in your face. We do have memory seats. I was hoping it would have memory seats. It absolutely does. That's beautiful. Everything's surrounded by that bright, bright look here. It's chrome everywhere, my friends. It's chrome. All right, look at this. It's like a Kodachrome for Paul Simon. Mama, don't take my Kodachrome away. We got USB-Cs there. Nice. Oh boy, this is just so upscale, so premium. Far from basic, my friends. They did a great job with this vehicle. And this is a 12.3 inch fully digital display, 12.3 inch touchscreen right here. Take a look here. The only thing you can adjust is down here and I'll show you how that works. So we go through, tells you messages that might be on the vehicle. Yeah, lane keep assist and the radar cruise invaluable on the highways nowadays. Look at that. We can set the distance between us and cars in front of us. This one upgrades to the auto dimming rear view mirror with home link for garage door opener programming. It has sunglass holder right there. We've got lights, lights. And then we've also got lighted mirror 
with slider. We've got two seats in the back here with a big console here, six passenger seating in this one. That's the only option. This one's with the seat all the way back and reclined. Very comfortable. I like that. Oh, it's so squishy right here. That's nice. I'm gonna hop over this one so we can show more legroom. We've got over 39 inches of second row headroom and legroom. 39.3, 39.4, pocket, two different pockets. That's good. And going over here, do we have second row sunshades? Of course we do. Can I get a holla? Holla. All right. Love the wood grain trim. See, it carries over to the second row. I assume that we'll see also luxury features in the third row as well. That would be cool, right? If we're going to get to the back, see this one's all the way forward with the second row. That means we've got a lot of leg room in the third row. Okay, there's tie downs. Look, we got air vents back here, USB-C, and we've got speaker system. So everybody gets access to the perfect concert-like sound of Bose. Everyone knows Bose has a great reputation. Excellent. Do you like that better or do you like JBL sound system better like the Toyota system? Which is your favorite? Maybe a Harman Kardon system. All right, so let's take this back a little bit more. Mmm, likey. All right, what else do we got? Same seat here. Look at this though. This one does not come out by the way, but it's got flexible cup holders. Nice space back here like that. How deep? Knee deep says a frog. Here we go. And then look at this. We've got heated and cooled seats. So if you want to be as comfortable as possible, this is a really good option for you here. This CX90. People were excited to see what Mazda would come out with. They want to go more upscale. They want to compete with, it's an interesting targeting really because they want to compete with brands that might be considered a little bit more traditional like a Highlander or a Grand Highlander, the Telluride or Palisade. But then they also want to compete with bigger vehicles like an Acura MDX. Really interesting here. Hey, look, look, Ma, I'm in the third row. Very nice here. Look at this. Lots of headroom back here. Actually, more than I thought there was going to be. That's kind of cool. And then we've got our leg room right here kind of up, up against it, but this is all the way back too. So we can easily flex that and go partial. So let's flip this around the opposite way. Ooh, camera tricks. There's no tricks. We're vlogging, baby. We're vlogging. Holla. Push that. And then see, I've got a lot more legroom back here. What kind of space are we looking at for cargo? If you're one that measures in cubic feet, well, we've got total of 74.2. And then we've got, with the seats down and those seats back, it would be 40.0. And then 14.9 with these seats up like this. See how easy that was to use? Look at the latches, the tie downs. That might help you for bungeeing or strapping things down. So 14.9, if you get the seven or eight passenger, it's gonna open up to more space, 15.9. All right, so look here, we've got extra storage down here. We've got tie downs. I've already seen how that could work with a cargo net. And then look here, I like this. We've got the 12 volt circular, but we also have wall plug-in, AC power. That's pretty cool. So let's go over this way. And then should we do this? Should we open it? We did open it. Woo, we got extra storage space underneath there. Jack equipment. Shaboom. What's standard on the Turbo S Premium Plus? Let's find out and we'll also see how much it costs. We showed where it stacks up against all the other trim levels. Look at that machine gray metallic white premium leather. So 340 horsepower they're showing is if you get premium gasoline here. All right, remember it's got the mild hybrid boost too. iActive all wheel drive, 5,000 pound tow capacity. The lowest is 3,500 pound tow capacity. Look at all these interior and exterior features. There's so much to see. Just stop the video if you wanna learn more. And safety features, if you wanna know safety features, look here, it's got everything. It's loaded, 59,950. We do have to add in 1375 for delivery processing and handling, blah, 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 blah. And then what do we have for charges? The paint charge, second row captain's chairs, chairs? The outlet, looks like no charge on those. Ventilated front and rear seats, windshield wiper de-icer, nice. It's so new that the window sticker does not show the safety ratings. All right, and there's our fuel mileage. So, how do you like this? 
how do we wrap this up? Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you all being here. And if you wouldn't mind, just hit subscribe. Join my channel. We're fun and we're thorough here. We do things a little bit differently, well, I guess we can say, at Auto Jeff Reviews. We have fun. If you can mix in a song, a TV show, a movie to give you some nostalgia so we can share in the gift of art and pop culture, let's do that. No more boring reviews. Thanks, guys, so much. My platforms are four of them, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. Boom. Please subscribe wherever you follow. Thanks, guys, so much. We out of here.